Hi, GaryCruz.com here, and on my channel I go over gadgets and technology, and today I'll be building a fight stick. For those who are watching are probably around my age, around late 30s, early 40s, maybe around your mid 40s, and you grew up with Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and some old arcade games. Well, I still love those games, and I really miss the controls of the arcade. Unfortunately, arcades aren't really a big thing anymore, and I really wanted to bring that experience home. And fortunately, they are inexpensive. So keep an eye out on this channel. I'll put up together a little a Geek Pie arcade build. But in this case, I have a friend that's coming over tonight and wants to play some Mortal Kombat, and I want to get this build together so I can kick his butt. So let's get started. <laughs> Victory. Fatality. I got this wooden enclosure on Etsy. I'll put the description and link below in case you're interested. I'm not a very handy person, so that's why I went with the pre-built route. This is a very nice mahogany finish. It's a really nice build. Uh, eventually, I probably want to put a plexiglass type of bottom here uh, once I have a clean setup but I like the wooden aspect of this as well. With this, you'll need the following components. I've got the standard buttons. As you can see, I went with all the standard size buttons here, so they'll just snap right in. And then I have a Sanwa joystick with a matching ball. It comes with the shaft. And then it also comes, uh, so this uh, USB joystick controller, I'll put this, I got this from Amazon. It included all the wires and cables included with that. And then, I couldn't decide if I wanted that or not because on if I wanted something that's going to look good and I know this is very superficial I went with the Geek Pie board it has a little bit more to it including an audio interface and I wasn't sure which components came with this or in terms of uh, which connectors so I went with this and bought some additional connectors which I might not use and then I also have a Nutrik connector here for a pass-through. It's nice that he included some screws there. And essentially this will be in the inside and I'll use a longer cable to connect this to the computer. All right, so let's get started. All right, let's uh, actually go ahead and put the buttons in place. I've got these buttons. These are the snap-ins. Hopefully they just snap right in here. I think there's enough clearance for that. These actually look really good with this wooden build. Very nice. Okay, and then I'll put these two buttons on the top. All right, let's flip this over and open it up. I haven't uh, figured out how I'm gonna mount this yet, but I'm not too concerned with that. I'll probably do a follow-up video on how to mount the Geek Pie into this case and actually wrap these cables with some nylon sheathing to make it look cleaner. And that's probably going to be a follow-up project when I replace this with some sort of plexiglass see-through. Uh, right now, I just want to go ahead and get this together and working right away. What's nice is that he already put the screws in here, so all I should have to do is just screw this in. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, is there up, down? Let's see. I don't think so. on and let's put, let's put one here okay next up let's get the shaft in there protector and the ball twenty minutes later Okay, 
Okay, got that together. All right, let's uh, get the new trick in here. Okay, this is reversible. So what we want to do is put this connector on the outside. So let's switch this out. Maybe it's not reversible. Oh. <laughs> All right, now let's put this on the outside. Okay, let's not forget the gasket. Now, it's not pointing the, uh, the OCD part of me is saying it's not pointing in the direction I want it to, but it's all right. Let's just get this in there. Okay. Get the USB. I'll clean this up later. I know it's a mess. Um, I'll actually put this back. I'll try to figure this out later as well. I'm not going to worry about this. I know that this one works. So I'm going to plug in the USB. And plug that right in here. I said I'll clean this all up later on. Maybe I will get this. Let's get some double sided tape just to keep it down for now. I'll make that more permanent later. We'll screw this on. And this is the completed fight stick. We've got the USB controller. We've got the nice controls here across the top and over here in the joystick. And uh, this really concludes the build of this fight stick on a pre-built wooden order from Etsy. It's pretty straightforward. If this is something that you like, definitely subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Yeah.